So today we're gonna to talk about Photoshop. Um, I always get asked like um, by fellow photographers and people who are new in Photoshop like uh, what are the common uh, tools and features of Photoshop that um, they should know and uh, usually use when you're editing photos. So uh, I'll be sharing with you guys that today. So I created my list, uh, like uh, the 10 most common uh, Photoshop tools and features that I always use when editing photos. And uh, just to give you a little background, like um, uh, I was a graphic designer first before I became a photographer. And uh, yeah, and then when I was a graphic designer, I thought I'm, I'm already very familiar with, with Photoshop. And then when I started doing photography, that's when I realized that uh, there's a lot of things in Photoshop that I still need that I don't know. With graphic design, you're, you're, you're using a lot of uh, tools that you don't use in, in retouching photos. And then in retouching photos, there are a lot of tools that you don't really use in, in doing graphic design. The first tool that I always use when um, editing photos is uh, the hand tool is, is yeah, when you're navigating the pictures, because usually when you're editing photos, like especially when you're doing fashion or beauty photography, you need to be very detailed with the skin, the retouching, um, the removing of the blemishes. So like that's the most, most common use. And then, yeah, I use Spacebar as a keyboard shortcut, which is the default uh, shortcut of, uh, of the hand tool. I think that's the number one most common use because like I always touch the Spacebar every time I'm, yeah, when I'm navigating with my photos. Next is the move tool. Yeah, and the shortcut for that is, is V and V also in Windows. Yeah, move tool and also when you're navigating uh, photos or you want to, to move something, let's say you crop a, a specific um, subject in, in your pictures and then you move that. So you need to select that using the move tool and then move it. Next is the zoom tool with the keyboard shortcut of command plus and command minus. It goes hand in hand with the hand tool where you zoom into your image and then you use the hand tool to navigate on your image. The zoom tool, the shortcut for that, to zoom in is command plus, to zoom out is command minus. Yeah, this is a very useful tool. And the reason I'm telling you guys the shortcuts, because these shortcuts are very useful to shorten the, the amount of time that you're editing. It makes your workflow uh, two times to three times faster. Uh, next is uh, the fourth one that I put here is uh, duplicate layer. Yeah, like when you're editing, uh, especially me, I don't know, like uh, I was a graphic designer first before I, I became um, a photographer. So I'm so used to layers. Like uh, I always create layers or duplicate layers so that um, if I want to go back to the previous edit that I did, like I have that, that option to go back to that previous layer. So I have like multiple versions of my layers. Uh, yeah, it, it became my, uh, my habit, which is very useful to me. Like, and then I save my picture as a, a Photoshop document. So even if you're turning over uh, to the client a JPEG uh, file, I still keep the, the Photoshop documents, the Photoshop file, so that in case I need something that I need to go back to the previous edit that I did, I don't need to redo everything. Everything is there in layers. And the shortcut for that is Command J. The next is, uh, well, when editing pictures, this is also, um, I use a lot of this, especially when you're doing fashion and beauty photography. The healing brush tool and then the patch tool, which is usually hidden under the healing brush tool tab and the clone stamp tool. I use these tools uh, to seamlessly remove uh, blemishes on the skin and remove uh, unwanted objects on, on my image. Next is the dodge and burn tool. Yeah, this one I just, because when I was doing graphic design, I never used this tool. Like I don't do the dodge and burn, uh, dodging and burning. But when I start doing photography, I realized that, that uh, yeah, there's this tool that you need to do dodge and burning. Uh, yeah, and then when, when, when I say dodge and burn, it, it's not only uh, using the actual dodge and burn tool. There's some, there's some multiple ways to, uh, to do dodge and burn, like uh, using adjustment layers. If you're not familiar with the dodge and burn uh, term, uh, burn is to darken part of the image, dodge is to lighten uh, a part of the image. Usually you use this to, to make your image to be more three-dimensional looking or to create vignette and other things to, to make your image more interesting. Okay, the next one is the image size. Uh, usually, uh, I use this most of the time uh, 
when I'll be using my image online or social media, like you need to resize your, your, your image, especially with the cameras right now, they are all, they are high resolution. The one that I have is the A7R2, which is a 42 megapixel camera. Usually when I'm, I'm uploading uh, you know, images online, uh, I resize it, uh, that's not more than uh, 1,500 or 1,000 pixels. And the shortcut to create a safe for web image is Command Option I or in Windows uh, Control Alt I. The next one is uh, oh the color palette. Uh, the reason I added this uh, a color palette, uh, even though we are retouching image and not doing graphic design, I always use this uh, in a default uh, color, which is the black and white, black on top and then white at the bottom. Because usually uh, I also use this to, to burn and dodge uh, images where I create a new layer. I'm in the default uh, color palette. All I had to do is do a Alt Backspace to fill my layer with black or Shift, shift Backspace to fill my, my layer with white. White will, will, will dodge the image and black will, will, will burn the image. So uh, And then you, I adjust the, the opacity of the layer based on the intensity that I want on my dodge or burn. The next one is the adjustment layer. Yeah, I use a lot of this uh, tool, like uh, an under adjustment layer, there's a lot of very uh, great uh, tools, uh, color balance, selective color, uh, let me check. Yeah, photo filter, the black and white, brightness and contrast, levels, that has something to do with, with dodge and burning, color correction all those kind of stuff, even black and white, even color separation, you can use this adjustment layer. There's a lot of options that you can work on this. And then uh, the ninth one is the blending modes. Yeah, blending modes, like uh, this is one of my favorite tool, whether I'm doing um, graphic design or, or photography where you can have the multiply, the color burn, linear burn, um, the most common Blending mode that I always use, especially when I'm dodge and burning, is the overlay and the soft light. Like, I create a new layer and then put it in the blending mode of soft light, and then I can use uh, a black color to burn the part of the image, and then the white color to dodge, and the neutral color to, to, to get that neutral um, a tone where, where there's no, no changes in the brightness or the darkness of the image. Okay, and then the last one, of course, is the save tool. Like, you have to save your file. You have to save your, your editing. I always save my editing uh, under PSD file where all my layers are, are still there so that in case I need to go back in a certain step that, uh, oh, I, I should have, uh, if I realize I overdo this and I should have stopped on this specific point, then I could just turn off all those top layers and then all the way to the layer where, where I think I should have stopped. And yeah, that's what's good about save, saving in Photoshop file. And then you save it, you save another file in JPEG for 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 uh, for sending it to the client, uploading it online. Yeah, and uh, other requirements because that's the most uh, common accepted uh, uh, image file, which is JPEG. And that's it, guys. That is the ten most common uh, Photoshop tools and features that I always use when uh, um, editing image. Uh, there's there's a lot of tools that. Um, that you can use, but this is like the most common that uh, that you can you can use to, to when you, especially when you're just starting out in Photoshop. Like uh, you can remember this, you will be comfortably uh, editing photos. Uh, yeah, even if you're just uh, new in Photoshop. And yep, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, hope you will subscribe. Uh, press that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay.